opportunity to uh, host, well, the junior club had the opportunity to host the, uh, their junior life members of Waters Day. Uh, it's an important event each year that we actually have on the calendar, and it's a great opportunity for a number of those volunteers that equally contribute to the senior club to come down and be part of uh, um, a luncheon and an event. Um, just like to uh, congratulate Sarah Knight and Wayne Knight on their junior life memberships. Yeah. They've had a big day and uh, pretty, pretty stiff that uh, one of the recipients is still bussing the table, bussing the bar behind there, but uh, done a massive day there, Sarah, as well, helping out. But uh, to that end, a number of volunteers gave up their day today. We talk about our Wooders and our Norsemen and uh, a number of our extended match committee volunteers. Uh, quick shout out to Jeff Feltham and uh, to Ed Muir who uh, did a fair bit of work behind the scenes today with my uh, in and out um, all afternoon. So yeah, thank you again. You may have noticed that we're down on committee at the moment. We've got uh, one overseas match day uh, organiser, match day coordinator in Dave. Uh, Cole Brush recovering from a, a second operation that he had to have. Um, I think there's someone else missing today. It might have been me for a couple of hours. Uh, but it is uh, too few that we're calling upon, so uh, when it comes to our volunteers, we are really fortunate to have the amount of volunteers we have. Fozzie at the moment still cleaning up. Was this on cue? No, at least of course it was. Uh, there is uh, certainly lots to be happy about when you look about the strength of the club. Under-17's curtain raiser this morning, which was fantastic. Future of the club coming through into our seniors. Uh, and equally... Um, Nice to see a couple of numbers coming back, a couple of old faces back into the dev squad today as well for uh, for Nick and the team. So we'll certainly uh, hopefully beef up there and start to get a bit more depth back through our dev squad. Well done, senior group on your win today. That's uh, really pleasing against quality opposition. So something to be very happy about. Huge amount of social events coming up. Don't forget who your sponsors are. I said that Thursday night about making sure we recognise who they are, support them around the club. Uh, we're going to roll straight into uh, Blair. I'll let you go first, but. Uh, Playing group. I'll catch up with you shortly. Um, first of all, thank you to uh, all the Wooders and all the Norsemen for uh, all the money they put in, all the time and effort. Obviously, with certain things with our boundary umpires and the beers after the game, um, it is appreciated. So we thank you for that. Um, we were pretty disappointed with our result today and our effort. Um, I feel we've played a lot of the top sides the last few weeks, and there's been patches where we've stuck with it and stuck with the best sides in the competition, especially like Park Orchards out here. We had them to within eight points deep into the last quarter. So we really thought it was an opportunity to um, to have a real crack at winning today and no taking nothing away from East Ringwood, we just sort of lowered our colours and we were pretty disappointed with the way we went about it. So instead of talking about our game, I'm just going to show you this little cute jumper that I got for Stella. Yay! And it's got her favourite player's number on the back, who did a massive job today, so uh, she'll be happy to get that tonight. But um, with our awards, we've got the two awards for tonight. Um, this guy, the first award is the meal voucher. Is it sponsored by anybody? Norwood Sporting Club. By the Norwood Sporting Club. <laughs> um, he's going to be, if he doesn't go higher, he's going to be a really good football player for this football club. So. We need to keep him, but he came on after playing a game in the morning and he showed the attack and just the presence that he had on the ground and really lifted our side, and that goes to Joss Landy. The, uh, the other award that we have is the Rebel Voucher. Um, like I said on Thursday night, there seems to be a current theme that the winner of the Walkie seems to win. He's also going to win Mavs Juice Box Award this week is um, our skipper, he was everywhere today, defensive, pressure, his intercept marks, and he just really led the way in regards to how we wanted to play. And that goes to Mitchie Lyon. <laughs> so that's enough from me, but yeah, I'll pass you on to the senior coach and he can talk about what a great win we had today in the uh, seniors. And well done to the 17s before the game too, so good to see we're all naughty, so uh, thanks to East Ringwood, um, I spoke to their coach Ben Osborne after the game and, and thanked him, they've obviously had a fantastic start to the season, um, they're something like, well they were, they were 5-1 uh, leading into today and um, the, the theme for today, so everyone was aware, we, we looked at what we've done as a group and obviously speaking to the players again like I did after, after the game, that Baldwin, Blackburn, Noble Park, East Ringwood and Vermont, we've, we've played with three of those sides away. So 
for our group to get an enormous confidence and belief in, in what we're doing and how we're going about it um, has been fantastic. So um, I really want you guys to obviously appreciate and enjoy today, um, but then we get back on the horse again on, on Tuesday night because we know we've got a quality opponent in Roeville next week who had a good win today. So um, we obviously just want to keep continually being consistent in the way that we approach it and get that belief. So I was really pleased with today. Um, it was a bit of a arm wrestle, particularly in the first half. It probably was a pretty footy to watch, um, but it opened up for us in the third term. And then at three quarter time, um, we asked the guys obviously going downhill to to move the ball and shut and the fridge. Shut the fridge. Yep. Hey! yep. We kick it off. Yep. And uh, for anyone that wants to know what shut the fridge means, um, it's one of my great abilities just to come up with an analogy on the spot, as Tibby so eloquently reminded me. Uh, thanks, Tibby. Um, at half time, we were, we were sick and tired of, or well, I personally was sick and tired of East Ring Ringwood dining on our turnovers. And uh, so I said to them, can we stop feeding them? So I think the term was, Jimmy, shut the fridge. Stop, stop feeding them on turnovers. And it resonated with the group, and I'm pleased to say that uh, they followed suit in the third term. We did manage to kick a winning score and then hang on to it um, when East Ring were coming in that fourth term. So well done, players. Um, I was very proud of your effort. So. But I don't think shutting the fridge is going to be one that I'm going to be they're going to let me forget for a while. So maybe it's a theme for us for, for the rest of the year. But um, so on to today, uh, it was a really good, honest team effort. And there's three guys that I just really want to, or we as coaches really want to recognise and um, say well done on their efforts today. And then the first one, um, I watched East Ringwood for probably the best part of a month, um, just having a look at what they're doing and, and how they're doing. And uh, this particular guy seems to get the ball in his hands a lot. And we have the utmost respect for him today. Um, particularly uh, playing off here, their half back line. So we felt that we needed to really um, make sure we were in tune with that and what we did and, and have a plan for him. And uh, Jimmy Feltham. Um, um, I thought Jimmy just played a team oriented team orientated game today and he gets the $50 Bunnings voucher. So well done, Jimmy. So come up, Jimmy. Well done, mate. Good job today. Well done. Um, the next one, uh, I'm pleased to see he's back inside because apparently he just had to go outside for a bit of fresh air. Um, he's playing some fantastic footy at centre half back, um, and he's been and he's been fantastic all season with what he's done. And um, if I think back to when I first started here in 2019, and really the development with this guy. Um, has been a real, uh, I guess, proud thing for me as coach just to see him now playing the level he's playing and consistently playing. And that goes to Daniel Potts. Well done, Potts. Do you need to go have some fresh air? Are you alright? Well done, mate. Well done, well done. And then the last one, he's not here, um, uh, but I'll tell you what. His first seven games have been some of the best seven games I think we've seen from him. Um, it is Michael Wen, but um, if I can just excuse him um, at the moment, apparently there's been a cyber attack. Um, so uh, he's had to he's had to race he's had to race home and um, get on his computer and make sure that the world's safe. So um, so when he when he right now um, he'll probably see this. Just know that you're valued and what you're doing at the moment, mate, has been nothing short of outstanding. And, uh, mate, you get the Rebel voucher for, for $20, and uh, we're really pleased with everything that you're doing, mate. So thank you. And then lastly, guys, just make sure, just last thing for me, obviously I know you got you got something on tonight, so as I said downstairs, behave, enjoy today's win. And be ready, be humble, and be ready for Tuesday night. Back on the horse, ready for uh, Roeville next week. Well done. Cheers. Thank you.